Yeah, before we start this one, guys, if you're not following me on Snapchat, Twitter, or Instagram, they will all be in the description. Shameless plug, get following, you know how we do. Check, check. Yo, look, look. I ain't the same when I'm sober. Probably got a chip on my shoulder. I'm still mad that my old link is over. I want a Mac Black from. What is up, do gang? It is your boy HJD. How are we all doing on this sweaty AF day today? It's still so hot in the UK. And if you're not in the UK, you're probably thinking, God, these kids are just moaning so bad. Trust me. When it's hot like this in the UK, it's actually disgusting. Like, it's not even that nice until it gets like a bit cooler in the evening. Like, it's just, ugh, it's disgusting. But anyway, we're here today with a bit of a different video. 10 reasons why I'm buying World War II. Little shout out to King Manny. He did this last year. It's where the video inspiration came from. So his links will be in the description as well. But yeah, maybe if you're struggling to look whether you want to buy World War II, if you're on the fence kind of thing, you don't know if you want to get it yet. Maybe my reasons might for, not force you, but like edge you further into making a decision. I think World War II is going to be one of the sickest CODs made, like legit. I'm not even just saying that. I haven't been paid to say it. But no, honestly, I think... I think it will be six. We've got some Black Ops 3 gameplay in the background. Nothing too crazy, nothing too special. But starting off with reason number one, it's a Call of Duty. Now, I've bought every single Call of Duty up since Call of Duty 4 on the Xbox 360. No matter what it looks like, no matter how bad it looks, I will buy every COD and I will try it. I'm a COD fanboy, you can say that. I bought Infinite Warfare. I hated it. I haven't played it in eight. I don't play it. It's uninstalled. I don't have it installed anymore. I bought Advanced Warfare. Didn't really enjoy that too much. Do you know what I mean? I will buy every single Call of Duty because I like the franchise. So yes, that is the first reason I will buy Call of Duty World War 2 because it's a Call of Duty. Reason number two, it's boots on the ground, boy. Boots on the ground. We haven't had boots on the ground since... Is it Ghosts? Is that is that the COD that was before Advanced Warfare? I think we've had Advanced Warfare. Crazy fucking jetpacks on steroids. Black Ops 3, more jetpacks on steroids. Infinite Warfare wall run bloody you know stupid movement we are getting boots on the ground boys and that's what made call of duty so big modern warfare 2 modern warfare 3 black ops 1 black ops 2 world at war all them boots to the ground there used to be a time right when every cod that was released was sick now i know this i know everyone likes there is people that like the advanced movement more but if there's going to be a jetpack cod black ops 3 was the best one for it Again, Treyarch, they they made the best possible jetpack COD. That's my opinion. I know some people probably like Infinite Warfare more. Some people like Advanced Warfare more. But for a jetpack COD, Black Ops 3 was the best one, hands down. So we're getting boots on the ground. Oh, it's just gonna be it's just gonna be sick, honestly. Everyone knows boots on the ground's way better. Reason number three, it's realistic. Now, don't take this the wrong way when I say this. Obviously, it's not fully realistic. It's a uh, pardon me. It's a game. Like back in World War Two, there wasn't gonna, there isn't gonna be some pink camo you can put on your MP40 or wear a helmet that's blue. Do you know what I mean? There's gonna be them sort of things in it, like, but it's based off a true storyline, like a real life event. World War Two. Think again, Infinite Warfare, like completely made up. Black Ops Three made up. Advanced Warfare made up. But this time, World War Two is set in something like a real life event, so it's gonna have some sort of realism to it, and yeah. Something we haven't seen in a Call of Duty in a long, long time. So that will be sick. Reason number four, there will be a nuke. Now, I know nothing's been confirmed, but I bet if you like this video, every every single person who likes this video right now, if there is no nuke kill streak in the new Call of Duty World War II, I will give you all 500 pounds. So if you've liked this video, just comment down below saying I liked. So when the game comes out, if there is no nuke, I can send you 500 pounds, okay? Honestly, I think there will be a nuke. It makes sense. The first, like, atomic bomb type thing was dropped on Hiroshima in 1945, I believe. It would make sense as the game set in that time to have a nuke kill streak. And plus, Advanced Warfare, like, we got to remember who made that. Sledgehammer, the same people who are making World War II. They had the DNA bomb. I'm hoping that's right. I haven't played Advanced Warfare in a while. I'm, the DNA bomb was a 30 uh, kill streak, I think. Maybe gun streak. I'm not sure of the two, but it was in there. So Sledgehammer being the same creators of that game onto their next game. I think, I I just know there will be a nuke. And you know me if you watch my channel. You know I love dropping nukes. I mean, I drop a lot of nuclears on Black Ops 3. But I think it's a bit more satisfying getting something like an actual kill streak for it instead of a medal. Medals are still cool. I'm cool with the medals. Don't get me wrong. Big up the medal gang. But still, 
Having something that will just drop on the map and yeah, I'm a boss basically type shit, I think that would be good. But I hope it doesn't end the game. Because mm, then we might, you know what I mean? Take a leaf out of Infinite Warfare's book. I know that game isn't the, the most popular, it's, it's pretty bad. But they only have it end on TDM. That only, it only ends the game, the Deatomizer Strike, on Team Deathmatch. If you're playing Domination, you can call them in for days, mate. So hopefully they do something like that because I don't want to just get a 25 or 30 kill streak and then the game ends, you know what I mean? I'm not really into that sort of thing. I want to keep shredding, keep gunning. There will be a nuke, I bet you. Reason number five, zombies. Now, again, going back to Advanced Warfare. Wasn't a big fan. I think I got to second prestige in that game. Didn't grind it like I did other CODs, but when Exo Zombies was there and I found out about it, I played that a lot. It was very different. It wasn't like, I'm not going to say it was a good Zombies, like it wasn't as good as like the original Treyarch, you know, like Narked, Kino, all that good stuff. But it was fun, it was different. So being at World War II and I think seeing how successful Black Ops 3 Zombies was, I think their zombies is going to be sick. It's going to be a entire new storyline. I know I'm not a zombies YouTuber, but I probably will definitely play it on the side. I used to play zombies all the time back in World at War when I'd found that. Probably played zombies more than on multiplayer. And once I got 10 prestige on multiplayer, I drilled zombies. So really looking forward to that. It's going to be good. On to reason number six. Now this is going to trigger some people. Sorry, not sorry, but yeah, end the Battlefield 1 hype. And what I mean by that is COD hasn't been at its strongest for the past, say, three years, let's say. Battlefield 1 came out, it was a huge success. It's a good game, I played Battlefield 1 myself, but it's just, it's just slower paced. It's not my sort of cup of tea. I can play it for a bit if I feel like camping on a hill with a sniper. Even when you run in on that game, I just, it doesn't, it's not, I don't know, it's, it's different. If you like COD, it's, Battlefield 1 is a very different game. Now, a lot of people are saying World War II was, is a copy, they copied Battlefield 1, but you got to remember this game was starting to be made uh, as soon as Advanced Warfare was released. So that was nearly three years ago. Do you know what I mean? They were working on this game before Battlefield 1 was even released, before they even knew anything about it. And I just know, I, I'm putting all my faith in this game, I think it's going to be freaking sick, so... It will end the Battlefield 1 COD hype, do you know what I mean? COD will be back on the throne, never like it, never left, and yeah, we can just put an end to that Battlefield 1 hype. If you want to write me in the comments, if you're a Battlefield 1, go for it, I'd love to read some of your comments. Reason number 7, the kill streaks. Now, the last World at War like type setting COD we had was World at War, and that was just a basic 357, back when COD was still growing, still new, and yeah. It was fun, dogs and artillery, but it wasn't the greatest. Now, we're going to have a World War II based COD with, like, the new system of score streaks. You're going to have so many choices. I believe not all of them has been released. They've come up with some sick ideas. I was trying to think what they could put in. And I know they're trying to keep it as realistic as possible, but that paratroopers kill streak looks so sick. People come in, like, AI controlled computer things, whatever. They come in from the sky, parachute down, and then they help you. I saw a Nade Shots video, but you got them, like, literally towards the end of the game so you didn't get to see him in full effect but i can't wait you know me getting kill streaks in gameplays is just so fun and if they're good and dominant it makes the game that 10 times much better so yeah i'm really looking forward to the kill streaks in that then following up from that is the weapons now the first weapon i fell in love with in any call of duty was the mp40 in world at war i genuinely wanted to sit down with that gun start planning our life getting a mortgage together, going out for dinner, that sort of shit, you know what I mean? No, the MP40 and the M1A1 carbine. We can, we've can. we already seen the MP40s in World War II. I'm, I'm rooting for the M1A1 carbine to be in there. I think it will. I think I saw it in the trailer. But my God, the gun choices back then, they're so sick. We're going to have the PPSH, the Tommy gun. Oh, it's just all nostalgic. And yeah, I love the gun sets in World War II. It's going to be sick. Now, last but not least is campaign, which might come to a bit of a shock to you. Now, we've seen the campaign reveal trailer, and with it being set in World War II, you can tell it's going to be a decent campaign, as it's going to be based off some true events, that kind of stuff. Now, I haven't played a campaign on Call of Duty since Ghosts, and when I was younger, when I played Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare 2, it used to be like a set like rule for me, play a bit of multiplayer, but you've got to do campaign, you've got to complete campaign, and when you're playing it, you just literally play campaign. I always used to complete campaign, but I haven't done it since Ghosts. I haven't played Advanced Warfare, I haven't played Black Ops 3, and I haven't played Infinite Warfare. And I used to actually like playing campaign, and I fully believe I will enjoy it on this Call of Duty. 
Now on to the last reason, funnily enough I am actually a Call of Duty YouTuber so it would make sense to buy the new COD so I can show the Do Gang fresh gameplay, fresh files, fresh files, <laughs> fuck, just straight freshness of the new Call of Duty because I want to do that, that's what I want to do, so yes. I hope you did enjoy guys, comment down below if you will be getting the new Call of Duty, honestly I cannot wait, the beta is out in about two months I believe. Really hyped for that, going to be streaming it, going to be making gameplays, all that good stuff. And believe me boys, World War 2 will be a good year. I will be providing you with some dope ass shit. But anyway, if you did enjoy, make sure you drop a like. Feel free to comment down anything down below. Subscribe if you want to become part of Do Gang. And I'll see you on the next one.